For the last three to four months, I've been capturing videos using my smartphone with the Blackmagic camera app, of course. But I've realized that this app has actually failed to solve my biggest problem, which is dropped frames. So you might be wondering and asking yourself what are dropped frames and what causes them and what potential solutions are out there to solve this problem. Guys, you see, the smartphone has so many limitations that lead up to dropped frames. The very first one being hardware limitation. In the realm of smartphone cameras, the processor determines the quality of images and videos recorded. Older and budget smartphones are equipped with processors that either are outdated as of 2023 or processors that generally struggle with the demand of high definition video recording. Processing power determines how your smartphone actually encodes and saves video data recorded by your smartphone camera sensor. You see better processors, for example, in the latest iPhone 15s, the A17 Pro Bionic chip has way more more processing power as compared to older generation iPhones. So in other words, this phone won't struggle a lot in encoding and saving data captured by your smartphone camera. So that phone is not prone to drop frames as compared to older smartphones. But because this is such a big problem for older smartphones, this leads to dropped frames. There is no way around it apart from getting yourself a new smartphone with an updated operating system. The storage space on a smartphone is always finite and as that storage nears capacity, your smartphone is going to struggle with performance and this also affects the camera's ability to record data. This limitation gets more and more evident when trying to record high definition video. In fact, your phone is going to drop frames. Your phone is actually trying to cope up with the limited space while performing efficiently. So just make sure that you have enough storage before you hit record. The one thing that I always do before I hit record is I make sure that I have enough storage on my device by removing all the files that I have already recorded and dump them onto my PC or external storage. Now, if you use the latest models of the iPhone, like the iPhone 15 that have the USB Type-C cable, that allows you to mount an external storage onto your device and record directly into an external drive. That will save you lots of memory and give your phone more processing power going forward. It's noisy up here. Actually, there are cops behind there. There's a lady, I think she's mentally challenged and she's been taking the lift over and over again. Those are some of the things you'll see on a daily here in Edmonton. Shut the f Train has arrived. It's freezing cold. Ay, ay, ay. It's like minus 10, but I think it feels colder than minus 10. That's the LRT. Look at that. The valley line. And that one is going all the way to Millwoods. Time about now. 11.50 p.m. and I'm standing out here in the cold. Like I said, it's minus 10. But Another reason why you get dropped frames when filming using your smartphone is because of low light conditions. I bet you if I was filming this video using the native camera app on the iPhone, I would get dropped frames. But because I'm using a Blackmagic camera app that allows me to have total control over my shutter speed, I believe I won't experience dropped frames. However, if you're filming using the native camera app, you're going to get drops frames because your camera is going to automatically try to adjust its settings to a slower shutter speed to compensate for the low light in order to capture a decent image. So that's another reason why you get dropped frames. So investing in an app such as Filmic Pro or even just a Blackmagic camera app that is free of charge would help you solve the problem of dropped frames. Let's get out of here. 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second. How does that look? Whoa! 
it's freezing cold out here it's like minus 16 and guys I am freezing so I wanted to tell you about another limitation as to why your smartphone is always dropping frames and this is none rather than the overheating problem so the thing is even high-tech digital cameras such as the likes of Sony the likes of Canon also experience the problem of overheating and most complaints about the overheating are usually a result of recording high-resolution video such as 4k at 120 frames per second and that leads to overheating while your phone overheats its internal safety mechanism kicks in and this is just a way of your smartphone preventing damage to its internal components and when that happens your camera's performance is going to go down for example i've run into situations where the black magic camera app just simply refuses to record and that's kind of a very big issue it's crazy but it is what it is Smartphones are very good devices when it comes to multitasking. So when you are recording a video and you have so many background processes, then your phone is going to have insufficient power and memory resources. Hence, your camera is going to drop frames. So before you hit record, just make sure all background processes are closed. That will ensure smooth running of your camera. So guys, those are some of the limitations that lead to dropped frames while filming on your smartphone camera. However, a solution that you could have for these particular problems is by investing in a smartphone camera app such as Filmic Pro that comes at a price. Therefore, I would recommend the Blackmagic camera app. But even still with a Blackmagic camera app, you're likely to have dropped frames. And I've seen that with some of my videos that I've recorded using the Blackmagic camera app. So my final solution to dropped frames, I would make one one, record at lower resolutions and at lower frame rates. Record at either 4K 24 frames per second or 4K 30 frames per second. You could even go lower than that by recording at 1080 and 24 frames per second. That will help you with solving dropped frames. That will ensure a smooth operation of your smartphone and avoid the problems of overheating. The second one would be you closing all background apps so that your phone has enough resources to process video and record all data captured by your camera sensor that makes sense right and of course finally i would say hit share like and subscribe to this channel i hope this video helped somebody out there and the homeless situation in the city of edmonton is crazy the tents you see on my left all those are some of our homeless communities some of our homeless folks in this city and man it's it's disaster like it's crazy right now it's minus 16 and it's even going to get worse like we had a very good december but the january is usually the peak of winter in edmonton and man it's damn cold i really feel sorry and pity for those guys it's crazy yeah pray for our city pray for the people yeah love you guys and i'll see you in the next one